Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. So this is the third and final video I am uploading today. Thank God, because I'm sure you're sick of seeing me and I am sick of seeing Amber, but I will be all caught up after this one video. Again, we're going to go right into her channel. I hate it, but I do want to be caught up. So let's just jump into it. I I think I'm probably going to speed it up. I tried getting my my doohickey, my screen, my screen that I'm on, a little bit smaller so my big ass head doesn't take up the whole thing. But I can't figure it out because you know I'm fucking old and I don't know how to work shit on the computer. But anyways, let's go into the React. Like I said, we're gonna go right into her channel. Let's see, 24 minutes, 38 seconds. Uh, watch my breakdown slash downfall episode eight. She's still looking like shit. She still has that fucking choker on, but whatever. Hair looks like shit. She looks like shit, but at least she's not wearing the tiny sweater. And, and she hasn't been doing the fucking scratch art. So thank you, Jesus, for that. Okay. Like I said, I no, I wasn't going to speed it up, but you know what? Let's see how fast she's talking. If she's speaking as slowly as she normally does, then I'll speed it up. But so far, let's let's give her at least the chance. Uh, still no intro. Okay, whatever. And if I had to guess, she is about to complain about, I don't know, everything. Here we go. Hello, hello. Welcome to episode... Eight. Eight, I'm pretty sure. I thought we would have been making better progress by now. Um, Your fake therapist sucks. I don't know how, but I'm up 0.4 from yesterday, so I weighed in today at 486.2. I don't know how. It is what it is. Today is actually... Is it? It is what it is. How do you not know why you're up weight? You eat shit. Nothing but shit. Just because you eat a slightly smaller amount of shit doesn't mean that it's not shit. And you don't move for shit. So, you know, I am no nutritionist or anything, but I'm guessing that's probably it. I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. I'm speeding this shit up because she's already irritating my soul. Already. And we're only 22 seconds in. <sighs> okay, here we go a friday and i am very tempted i'm flirting with the idea of ordering seafood boil it's something i've been craving like Otra vez. pretty hardcore there have been times shit you know you've been talking about this fucking seafood boil for so long now i want one but you know what you can make your own seafood boil it is so easy even even you the world's laziest human being on the planet can do it and you can control the sodium that goes in it super easy super i mean a fucking moron can do it yes you i'm sure i would get seafood oil and i would just like eat that i know you have a very 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 busy schedule amber but i'm sure you could squeeze it in make your own fucking seafood oil throw some vegetables in there throughout the day and i wouldn't eat anything else but then there have been times also where i get damn it now i want a seafood boil Fucking amber. The seafood boil, and then I waste half of it, and then I get something else, like a different takeout. But I think if I do get seafood boil today, my goal is to just like have it throughout the day. Um, so if I do get that, I'll definitely show you guys. If I don't, then I'll show you what I decided to eat, obviously, because that is the point of these videos. Look, she's always so obsessed. I just don't understand. Okay, she's not obsessed. She's a cat. She doesn't have a fucking job. You're sitting there like a lump of shit. She's going to walk up to you because you touch her. She's not obsessed, you moron. Don't you know how cats work? Why are you obsessed with me? Oi. Oh, my God. I would pay that cat to fucking crack her right now. I would love it. Please do it, kitty. See, now, my asshole cat would. He would walk past me like that and he would crack me. Or he would bite my boob. He's got a thing for that. He's My cat is an asshole. I love him so much. 
<laughs> Wait, what the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> but, um, yeah. I just, I don't understand how, like, someone my weight, like, everything I ate yesterday, it just wasn't a lot of food. It just wasn't. It was all crap. It was crap. It was, like, all um, processed crap. You didn't stick any freaking vegetables or fruit in it, and you didn't move for shit. You sat on the couch, and you watched movies. Move! Holy hell, move! For someone my size. I should have been down weight. Um, weighing myself daily, I think, is really messing with my mind frame. But you're going to keep doing it. So it's something I need to ask myself, like, should I just start doing it every other day? Like, what should I do? Nope, because you love to plant the seed so that when you do fail, you have a reason for why you fail. Because we're trying to reach that 100 pounds down. And I know um, it would only be 14 pounds, but whatever. Me talking about this while also in the same breath saying how I want seafood oil is just silly. I know. I get it. I'm I'm partially a mess myself still. I will always be a mess, actually. Um. Anyways, Rarity is touching me with her paw. She looks terrible. Take a shower. That is one small step to help you feel better. I could smell you through the fucking laptop. Take a shower. You look like a grease ball. That's not hard to do. Take a shower. And then you go from there. <laughs> so, see oh, she's lucky fucker she has all these awesome pets my son would be clawing my arm off right there i'm gonna give her lovings okay so i don't think i'm getting seafood oil um i'm not yay okay not sure what i'm gonna eat but i haven't ate yet i'm actually about to clean my bathroom sink so i do like being organized but sometimes i am no you don't stop lying that's a fucking lie you're a slob a fucking slob messily organized messily organized okay i always feel like i'm stroking out when i watch your videos but messily what the fuck's that i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna edit this video and i'm gonna look up messily what the fuck is that my girlfriend and I, we have our own bathrooms. This one's mine. Hi. Um, but my sink, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. She likes to be organized. Okay. One day I have to show you guys mine. Okay? I will show you what organized is. <laughs> so, I... And that wasn't funny, Amber. Ugh. She's a pig. No. I figured, let's clean it together. What do you guys say? And, yes, I use a tripod. All right. So... I know you guys like a cleaning segment. Who does? Not with you. No. No, ma'am. No. Okay. Where am I going to sit, you guys? Let's just... Uh... Okay. This is sped up. Uh, I'm speeding her up even more. What the fuck? Here we go. Put all the stuff that's over there. Over here as well. So you guys can see everything. What a mess. It's crazy. So these, because we just cleaned our showers, so these are just like my shampoo and conditioners that I can put, obviously, back in my shower. I also keep my toothbrush and my toothpaste in my shower. I just don't even know where to start. Okay, so, whoops. So you don't have this problem. You clean as you go. I just can't understand why you haven't grasped that as a 31-year-old. Um, what are these? Room sprays. I keep a few in here. It doesn't make you the worst person in the world. I get it. You know, she could be worse things. I just think it's gross. I couldn't live like that. But to each his own. I don't know why I have four. Weird. Okay. I got some new hair clips. Because I want to try this like certain hairstyle. But I think I got two big hair clips. I also have small. You don't even do your hair. You don't wash it. You don't comb it. What? Small hair ties for when I do a side braid. This huge. Ew, I dropped it in the sink. This huge scrunchie. So I'm just going to. That wasn't funny. Put them in here. More scrunchies, uh, earrings. I can also just put in here. The new socks I got recently, those go in my closet. Lady, those are from last week. You're telling me you just took them and you threw them on your sink? Oh, my Lord. Am I just a fucking weirdo? I mean, I do understand that my kids tell me, my daughters do tell me I am anal retentive. I get it. But come on, that's a bit much. 
you come home from a store, you just put your shit away. That's not hard. Especially since you have no fucking job. You don't do shit all day. All day. Closet purse goes in my closet. It is a Steve Madden. Isn't it so cute? Nobody asked. Nobody. Uh, washcloth, dirty clothes. Earrings, these are my newest pair of earrings. I don't buy earrings as much as I used to. They look like this. Aren't they so pretty? I love them. Up here is where I keep my perfumes. We have Kardashian perfumes. Uh, these are also Kardashian perfumes. We have a Billy Eilish. Flex. Come on, Amber, flex. Eilish moment. We have a Britney Spears moment. We have a Gucci moment. We have deodorant. Goes in here. We also have some. God, she's so stupid. And why are they all off of the ledge? I don't get that. I don't understand. I don't know how you let something get that dirty, but whatever. Bath and Body Works, body sprays, which also go in here. I keep my Alexa up there. We have a random eyelash. Was there like an earthquake and I didn't hear it on the news? Why is everything just spilled everywhere? I don't understand. Makeup wipes go in here. Feminine spray goes in here. Mm, what? What? Some Ariana Grande, which I'm running low on that one. I'm also pretty much done with uh, this. This is another Kardashian. We have bobby pins that I just put in here. This is from when I was cleaning or when we clean the showers. Um, so that has to go back. It doesn't worry her that she has to use one hand at all times to hold herself up. She's 31. She's not disabled. I mean, she's got all of her body parts. She should be able to stand by herself without having to use the counter all the time. That would worry me if I was 31. Back in there, it's just like this Shea Sugar Scrub, which I'm obsessed with that stuff, especially when you use an exfoliating glove, which I need to get more of. So this is another Kardashian perfume. I actually want to put this one in my purse. So I'm gonna set that over there. Um, these are just strings off of a dress. It was like a dress that had like crisscross applesauce and I cut them off because I did not like it. Band-aids, those also go in there. I have scissors, which go on my desk. Makeup wipes, Tori. Why is she identifying everything? This is strange. Trash, another hair tie, um, just some random trash, a band-aid trash, a random toothpick moment. And then we have a hairbrush that has tons of hair in it. Is this a trigger warning? I don't know. Does hair creep people out? Probably. Look at all that. Jesus. Yay. We have a cleared sink. So now I'm going to just like spray it, wipe it down, and all that. Okay, so I have been in my own little world today. Um, I have eight. I'm just going to show you pictures of what I ate from online because I She looks terrible. Didn't take pictures, didn't film it, nothing. So I am here to tell you what I ate though. So I'm not going to like skip this episode or anything like that or shy away from what I've ate today. So. I have had BF Chang's. I always get the Kung Pao chicken whenever I order from there. I did ask for white rice. They gave me fried rice instead. It was all right. I had a little bit of soy sauce to it. Enjoyed it. And she can't figure out why she's up. Wait. I finished the rice, but I did not finish the Kung Pao chicken. I usually don't because I always leave like the bigger pieces of chicken. because I don't know. It just like kind of creeps me out. So. No, it doesn't. Shut the hell up, Amber. It does not. You're not quirky. I ate about half of the chicken. Um. All you have to do is cut it. You literally just take a knife and you cut the chicken. Dumb ass. And then we ordered an appetizer. It was just two pork spring rolls or egg rolls. Um, I had one and then she had one. And then later on, I had just a few of my little snacks. I had some chickpea snacks. Um, this is the Rock and Ranch. I probably only had a small handful of these. And then I had more of... Uh... Okay, so you're, you're telling us all this. I have no idea why, but whatever you're telling us all this so is it to try to prove to us that your body is so special that even though you eat like a little dainty bird you just can't lose weight i mean you refuse to move refuse to move and you eat nothing but processed shit and you still can't figure out why you're not losing weight in fact why you're gaining watch your videos amber watch them um, my lemon, shortbread, little things. I had some plantain chips and I literally just ate this about an hour ago, a cup of doodle. Um, so that could be it. That could be good for the day. Um, but, but it won't be.
It won't. I do feel like pretty snacky today, so I'm not sure. Lion ass. She already said she doesn't snack, but whatever. What the rest of the night's gonna look like regarding that. But I have been sitting here just thinking a little bit more, um, trying to figure out what is the best option for me. <laughs> Ugh, I know, I'm just like a literal mess, I understand, because what these episodes are about, you guys kind of, you get a little glimpse inside of this brain up here. Okay, I'm not gonna say anything mean right now. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up. I'm super indecisive, I'm all over the place, and then when I decide on something, I like hyper fixate on it. Um, kind of an update on my ADHD, by the way. Um, what ADHD? What ADHD, Amber? What? What are you talking about? The one you self-diagnosed yourself with? I am talking to my psychologist about it. And I'm telling you, this girl collects disorders, ailments, illnesses, whatever. Like she collects fucking purses. She loves this shit. Any excuse to fail at anything and everything. Oh, I can't do that because I have ADHD. Oh, I can't do that because I'm 500 pounds. Oh, I can't do that because whatever. Anything, any reason to fail. She loves this shit. We're going to see if I can get assessed because adult ADHD. You mentioned this like a year and a half, two years ago, and you still, still haven't started the process to do this. Lazy ass. ADHD is literally the only thing that makes sense. It's just the random literally it can't be that you're just a fucking lazy human being literally the random symptoms that i'm having and not being able to focus and it's just it's i don't know it's just been getting worse and worse and i think my hyperfixation gets pretty bad too which i do not like that at all and then like mixed with my intrusive thoughts that's no fun but that's like just like oh shut the hell up amber shut up she's like super extra stupid in this vlog like a mixture of like ocd and anxiety oh my god shut up shut up shut up shut up amber shut up it's together anyways back to the same <laughs> i'm rambling i'm sorry yeah that wasn't funny yeah, i'm just like sitting here trying to think like how am i stupid you are I'm gonna like reach this 100 pounds down it's 14 pounds amber 14 but whatever in a timely manner. I don't want to keep having these episodes prolonging. Like, there's no way we can do, hi, episode 30, and I still haven't reached, you know, the 100 pounds down mark. Like, it's not happening. Um, but it's like, you know, yesterday, like, I ate easily below 2,000 calories, and I gained weight. No. You most definitely did not. My body is just like... How has it not crossed her mind that if... Okay, let's just pretend and, you know... Amber's little world that she really did eat below 2,000 calories. Let's pretend, okay? Let's go with that. Hell, let's say she's eating 1,500 calories, okay? 1,500 calories. And let's say it's been going on for a month straight. You've been maintaining 1,500 calories a day, and you're still not dropping weight. Let's go with that, right? How hasn't your pea brain figured out, you know what? Maybe I should throw in some exercising or some movement with this uh, calorie deficit. And maybe that'll work. Nope, you just want to bitch and complain about it because your body is so different than everybody else's. Just saying. Not it. <laughs> My body hates me. My body literally hates me. So then I start thinking, okay, well, is it true that like maybe I could be eating too little and that's why like I'm not losing? Like, no, Amberlynn, you're not eating too little. Like, oh my God. So then when I start thinking, oh, maybe I'm eating too little, I'm like, okay, should I do Weight Watchers because they allow me to eat a little bit more while, you know, actively losing weight. But then I'm like, oh my God, but Weight Watchers makes me binge because I get- Oh God, shut up. Shut up, Amber, shut up. Give me so many points. And then I'm like, let's Google Dr. Now's weight loss plan. Girl, no. <laughs> That's- That wasn't funny. Only gonna make me binge even worse. Like 1200 calories of nothing but lettuce. So every option she's exploring except exercising, except that one, because she's fucking lazy. And chicken, like that's, that's me literally writing my suicide note because I literally will be. Still hasn't figured out what the word literally means. Still. 10 years later, still hasn't figured it out. It's so hard that I'd probably die. Like my stomach would explode. Okay, TMI, wow. What am I doing right now? <laughs> I'm just like my brain. That wasn't funny. She, This girl is a whole ass moron. A whole ass moron. 
brain is a mess. And I, yeah, she's in therapy. All right. I, I, I actively don't know what I'm doing. I literally don't know what I'm doing. And I'm so confused. Like, do I intuitive eat? Do I count calories? And if I do exercise, you behemoth exercise. Should I do 1600 or should I do 2400? Like, what is wrong with me? Obviously, I don't lose weight eating 2400. You're fucking lazy. That's what's wrong with you. Under calories. That's apparent. Um, but um, ultimately, I don't even give a fuck if she does it in her little dress clothes. Just exercise. I don't know. Do those stairs that you did like a year ago. Ultimately, ultimately okay, Berlin. Ultimately, what I'm truly thinking about doing is. She's trolling. She has to be trolling. I know I say that a lot in her videos, but she has to be trolling. Is I need to get like the junk out of my house. Like you need to fucking move your ass. Get off the couch. Get off the chair. Move, move, move. Leave your freaking house. I shit. Even go do laps at Walmart or TJ Maxx or Ross. Walk around over and over and over. If it's too hot outside for you, because we know you're gonna complain about that. It's gonna be too hot outside. Go walk around your little stores. Go do that. Like things like the cup of noodles or like the... I've said this in a video before. I hate excuse makers. If you have a problem, there's always a solution. Whether you like the solution or not, there's a solution. It may not be an easy solution. It may not be a free solution, a cheap solution. It may not be the solution you want, but there are always solutions. The solution to me, see that she has the only, the only thing left that she has to try is movement, and she's coming up with every other fucking thing, except that, cause she is fucking lazy. The random snacks I bought, because those things aren't fueling any sort of healthy energy inside of my body. They're not giving me any sort of nutrients that I need. Um, so realistically those things need to get out of my house but it's like i don't want to waste them like so i don't want to like throw them away and like waste all this food so then i'm like okay well i can eat them in moderation but then moderation turns into that's all i eat i know a lot of people relate i know a lot of people relate to me right now so that's why i'm no you fucking weirdo no you know i'm feeling a little embarrassed you guys are like getting to see no you're not you are absolutely not embarrassed no, you love this shit. This is what makes you money. This is what made you money for 10 years so you could sit on your ass and become the world's laziest human being. You're not embarrassed, girl. You come on camera looking like this. You are not embarrassed. Inside of my brain, inside of my heart a little bit more. You know, I feel a little... Like, Fucking liar. Like, very vulnerable, honestly. No, you're not. I feel a little, like, naked. Like, oh my God. But then I remember... Don't ever put that image in my head. Ever. Like, there are people out there watching me who go through the same. They actually try, though. You're just an excuse maker. You're full of shit. Conflict in their brain. So, just know that you are not alone. I am right there with you. No one's like you, you freak. Nobody. You and... Except that one girl that I know. But she doesn't weigh 600 pounds, so. It's, it's not good. It's not good. But these episodes are about me taking you on this journey and it's like, I don't want to overshare because I've done that in the past. Like when I lived in Virginia. Too late. I overshared like every ounce of my weight loss and it was kind of just like pathetic. Okay, hold on a minute. You have gained 280 pounds since you started your YouTube. When the fuck did you ever share your weight loss? Besides that one time and that was like three years ago. And that's not really what I want these episodes to be about, but I also want them to like, to be, you know, I want you guys to have more insight on the way my brain works um, a little bit. So Amber, you don't even know how your fucking brain works. Just, I don't know. I'm At this point, I kind of want the scratch art back and the stupid horrid halls. So I guess right now, currently, it's just not as easy as just eating a calorie deficiency because I at this moment, I'm Exactly. Okay, you just answered your own fucking question. It's not that easy. Hmm. What if we threw in some exercise or some movement, even if it was only 10 minutes? Imagine that if you tried that.
but you're too fucking lazy. You're too lazy. I don't even know what that means. Whatever happened to her pedal thing? That thing her wonderful girlfriend bought her. She hasn't mentioned that thing since the day she opened it. Below 2,000? <laughs> what, 1,400? Like, what? I don't know. She is truly fucking clueless. And she's infuriating. She's, she's pissing me off now. So, yeah. And I also have been writing my weight on here. I didn't write my weight um, for today. That's clearly not helping. What's the point? Yeah, but, yeah. I don't know. Looking at this, I'm just like, damn. Okay, so we're on day eight, which is episode eight. And I am only down 0.2 pounds. It's wild to me because out of these days, I've only binged once. It's wild to me that out of all those days, you haven't done shit, shit, but sit on a couch or sit on a chair and eat and film. That's wild to me. My body still just doesn't want to let go of extra weight. I don't, I don't understand. And it's like, I keep blaming, you know, my hysterectomy, you know, I'm 31 years old, premenopausal, like this whole thing. And I just keep blaming all that. And then like, I blame my lymphedema and I really don't know. I really don't know. Like, I think it was over a year ago, I went to a weight loss doctor. I'm not sure I talked about it with you guys. And it's like, I was expecting... Of course you didn't, because it was fucking imaginary. You ding bat. Seeing, like, all the answers when I went there. And literally, the only thing she told me was, have a ser serving of vegetables with every meal. Like, eat... All right, she told you that? Or they, this imaginary person told you that, yet you still refuse to do it? Everything that you're eating now, don't change your eating habits in that sense. But just add vegetables to every meal. No, I don't think that's the answer. I do know that I should be eating fruits or vegetables with every. Oh my God, this broad. Okay, I, I'm done with her. Whatever. You know, you want to be, you know, the half ton girl for the rest of your life. That's on you. Whatever. I do know that. But it's like to tell me to keep my same eating habits. That's insane. I don't know. Okay, now I'm just rambling. I will talk to you guys in a little bit because I have to edit a little bit um, of the video of episode seven so i have to edit some of that but i'm just a mess right now so if anyone is wondering my black pants i get them from who the fuck is wondering this you just said in the video before this that you don't read the comments so who's wondering this nobody not a single person i don't give a shit i'm not buying them womanwithin.com and they're the stretch cotton boot cut yoga pants um i get ooh, this one's in chocolate i love that there's a deep chlore <laughs> plum purple that wasn't funny that was not funny what am i missing oh heather navy black which is what i get medium heather gray heather charcoal and navy so i get mine in black obviously and i do get tall this is all just filler pure filler because I do have lymphedema and it helps with that. Um, and I get a 4X. So I actually think I'm going to stock up on these because I'm not going to lie. Um, I like them tight because I wear them with my dresses and stuff. Um, so by wearing them so tight and like wearing them so often, they do get holes after like, let's say a year or two years. So I usually buy in bulk. Um, Why is she telling us this? This is fucking dumb. Oh, item number. You guys can look at that right here if you want. 0025-6200. Who is going to buy... Shut up, Andrea. 069999. So if you guys are looking for uh, pants, definitely these are great. Um, yeah, I, I love them. It's just what works for me. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to buy like... Ooh, I don't know. They're kind of pricey, almost like $30, but it's worth it. That's pricey? No, it's not. Yes, I might do five. Uh, she spends three thousand dollars a week on Uber Eats, but this is pricey. Okay. Five pairs, and add those to the bag. So one hundred and ten dollars. Kind of a lot. Kind of funky. Kind of fresh. Oh wait, twenty two nineteen. They were thirty six ninety nine. Ma'am, what? Okay, either way, one hundred and ten. Oh my God, this is so stupid. Why are we still talking about this? Fucking dingbat. Seriously. With the grandma clothes? Oh my God. Oh my Lord. It's, ooh, accessory shop? I can safely say I've never looked there. I wonder what's in the handbags. Mm, nope. 
Nope, nope, nope. What about jewelry? Me and jewelry. <laughs> no. A lot of people ask me why don't I buy expensive jewelry. This is not expensive by no means. I mean, to some people it can be, but I'm just saying, like, I don't like this style. Like, this is not my style at all. I like costume jewelry because of how it looks. Like, I don't care about the price. Like, Shein. Oh, my God. Let me show you. I'm literally... We are now on Shein. Okay. Like, these are the type of... Where is it? Um, where am I? Like, I like earrings that are gaudy. Like, see? Something like that. Okay, that's not my... You don't have to tell us that. Being bad. Style anymore at all, but... Like, just, like, more gaudy and stuff. Like, I used to have these right here. Oh, my freaking goodness. There, oh, my God. Yep, filler. That's all she does. Those are ugly. It's coming in the mail, so that sucks. Okay, you guys. Hi. It is still looking like shit. It's a completely different day. Transparency? <laughs> It's about 10 days later, 10, 10 days after the last clip you just saw. A lot has happened in the last 10 days. Um, I am ahead on videos, so that's why there isn't 10 days for you guys in between content, because I don't want to make it like that. That's why I pre-film. Okay, more word salad. This is making no fucking sense. Move it along. Because I promised every other day a video. And I've been doing that since the beginning of the year, so yay me. But does she just wake up? She looks like shit. Yeah, it's been ten days. Um, uh, you know, it would be easy for me to come on here and just spit it out, stupid. Continue on and all this, but that—that's not transparency. That's not honesty. That's not. You're none of those things. Why are we trying to pretend? You are none of those things anything like how i wanted these videos to be like i am here she was looking smaller to me before but now she looks ooh, no bueno but whatever i don't care she's still an asshole now um it's been weird not to film for the last 10 days because i was doing it daily i you know was showing you guys what i was eating. were you were you amber mm, that's a no eating i was weighing myself like just talking to you guys and i just thought I just thought because we're not surprised you're a lazy ass human being because I did binge that night where I was really in fear of binging. I did binge. I continued to binge and I haven't been able to find myself since then. You know, I know I sound like a dick. I know people are going to hate me for this, but hey, whatever. What you're doing the past 10 years isn't working. You moron. Uh, you have the means to go to inpatient therapy. But that would be way too much work for you. So fuck off with this bullshit. I don't care. I don't feel bad for you. I know I sound like a bitch, but whatever. You get sick of hearing the same person bitch and moan and complain about their circumstances. Oh my God, you don't understand. I have a disorder, blah, blah, blah. You know how many people would love, love to have the money that you make sitting on your big ass doing nothing? They would love to have that money so they can actually go get help. No, you don't do it. You're just too fucking lazy. <sighs> I don't know what that means for me. I don't know what that means for this um, 500 pound girl. I don't know what that means for the series or my videos, but I have, I have time to think about it and to continue making content for you guys and what I find to be the best for my mental health, physical health, weight loss for my channel. Um, I was thoroughly enjoying doing- Liar. This is all word salad. It's stupid and it's filler. And she has one minute left. And she's just going to keep going on and on about this bullshit. In these series. And just some things happened in my life. Things I don't want to share. But also things where I just... My mental health. Um, I am bipolar, even with medicine. You know, I have my days. And I've been low. I've been very low. And I didn't want to film that. I don't really know what this means but that's okay i don't have to i don't have to not everything about my channel is going to be about perfection and i think that's what i was really focused All right, on fuck off with this bullshit this was stupid i don't believe shit she says so i'm all caught up whatever go get help 
I'm so sick of hearing her talk about getting help and she just stays stagnant. In fact, she just gets worse. She's more annoying than ever. She's faker than ever. Fuck off with that noise. If she happens to upload tonight, who knows? I will be back. Bye, guys.